Welcome back. Radio activity, and I call it simple radio activity equations. Why simple? Simple. It is really easy. Radio activity is easier than ABC. And after this lesson, I'm sure all of you will agree with me and you will come back for more of it. Now, at the end of this lesson, what I would like to see uh, happening is this, that you are able to understand radioactivity equations in terms of the nuclear number, the proton number, and you are able to solve the equation. I'll give you an example from a test question paper. Once again, my reminder to you is this. As you study physics, you must always practice and practice. Take out past year questions, take out examination question papers, and answer the questions as some sort of rehearsal. That is very important. Alright, straight to the question. We have a question number 48, which reads, Diagram 30 shows the radioactive decay series of nucleus R to nucleus V. And the question is, how many alpha and beta particles are emitted in this process? And it is an objective question. So the answer A, B, C, D given to us. So we have to learn how to solve this problem. All right, let me guide you through the process. There are a few very important things that's, that you must take note of. Number one, it says from nucleus R to V. So let me do the highlighting. I'll choose something. So this is R and this is V. So we want to go from R to V. I'm not interested in S. I'm not interested in U. So the first step for you to do is you need only to look at R and V. S and U are there to distract you, that's all. Clear? All right. Now look at R. I mentioned in, my, in the beginning of my lesson uh, that you need to know about nucleon number and proton number. So I'm going to highlight the numbers for you. All right. R216 is the nuclear number. And for R, you look down here. 84 is the proton number. All right. So I will write this down. Okay, I'll use it in red. So I'll just write it up here, the equation. R, okay. 216. 84. So the first step is get used to writing the nucleus in this format, in this form. This is the standard form for us as science students to write it down. Okay, so far so good. Now it decays to form V. And what is V? Draw an arrow. Alright, I'll write down V here. I'll use another highlight color. Now look at V. Alright. So what is the nuclear number? 208. What is the proton number? 82. Alright. So very good. I'm going to write it down now. V nuclear number 208. Write it clearly. And what is the proton number? The proton number for V is 82. Now the next step is the question asks us, alright, if you look at the question, how many alpha particles and beta particles are emitted? Or given out. So we have to write in our equation plus alpha plus beta. Now the simple step and the simple concept is this. 
Alpha, what is the nuclear number? You must know that it is 4. And what is the proton number for alpha? It is 2. Alright, so far so good. And for beta, what is the nuclear number? It is 0. And what is the proton number? It is minus 1. So after we have written this equation, now the next thing for us to do is to balance the equation. And to balance this equation, it is something that is really simple. Anybody can learn it in just a few minutes. Alright, let's take a look at just the top, the nuclear number. Alright, so once again, I would highlight it to guide you along. Let us just look at the top. Okay, just look at the nuclear number. On the left-hand side of the equation, it must balance the right-hand side of the equation. I have 216 for R. So the total on the right-hand side, it must be equal to 216. For V, I have 208. Alright, and I know that alpha, the nuclear number is 4. So how many alpha particles must there be so that I will have a total of 216 on the right? 208, 216 here. So there is a difference of 8. Alright. So I need a nuclear number of 8 so that 208 I plus 8 I will get 216. Because this is 216, R, the nuclear number of R. Get it? Good. So, very simply, we know that I must have two alpha particles. Because two alpha particles, two multiplied by four will be eight. Eight plus 208, I get 216. Alright, so far so good. I'll erase this. Then you will ask me, teacher, what about the beta particles. Now, whatever we multiply to beta, it does not affect the top part, the nuclear number, because it is a zero. Alright, so we have solved the nuclear number section. Alright, let us now look at the proton number section. For R, I have 84. V is 82. The total for the nuclear number must be equal to 84. So I have 82 here, good. Alright, I put a tick there, 82. And then my alpha here, I have 2 particles. Which means that the proton number is 2 times 2, I have 4. So 82 plus 4, it is 86. Oui? How come? You said there's 84 there. On the left hand side, 84. Right hand side, I have 86. Taking into consideration V and alpha. Don't worry, we have beta to rescue us. All right. So how many beta particles must I have so that the balance or so that the total number, the total proton number rather, on the right hand side will give me 84. So again, you would know that it is 2 beta particles. So when I have 2 beta particles, 2 multiplied by negative 1, I have to have 86 minus so this will give me 84 and 84 is the same as the left hand side the proton number so in short from this simple calculation doing a little bit of mathematics we have understood that in this equation in this radioactive equation radioactive decay I have 2 alpha and 2 beta particles given up Alright, let's take a look at the answer. Two alpha particles, two beta particles. So we know that C is our answer for it. So the method I have explained, it is very simple, but you will have to keep on answering questions like this. Answer a few questions. Answer one, two, three, four. As many as you can. And after a while, you notice that Alright, this question is actually very simple.
But I'll tell you what the problem is with many a student. They go from R to S. They do the whole process. After that, S to U. All right? And then they get tied up in knots. All confused. So just remember, if you want to go from R to V, just bypass S and U. Just go from the beginning to the end. Then that becomes very simple. All right? I'm sure all of you have understood what I'm trying to impart to you. Once again, you would have learned, you would be able now to understand how to solve these radioactivity equations in terms of the nucleon number and in terms of the proton number. Okay? I can see that you are happy. I am happy too. Alright? So, with this, I would like to say thank you to all of you for your time, for your effort, and may God bless you. Alright? I'll see you again the next time.